Hi, and welcome to The Lance Out Loud. I'm Lauren O'Neill. And I'm Brianna Gare. Now you're probably wondering why we're wearing little matching hats today. Well, we have our little secrets. I've got roots. And I have a broken hair dryer. But it is no secret that the economy is on a downturn, and Windsor has been feeling the pain for years. The manufacturing industry is at an all-time low. It's now being felt throughout Canada and the U.S. And for those of you that don't know, TVO is Ontario's public educational media organization. It started out as a TV station, but now it's got all these web-based social media things too. Their flagship show, called The Agenda, is tackling a number of issues with live broadcasts around Ontario. Hi everybody, I'm Steve Pagan. We're taking The Agenda on the road, and hope you'll be with us. The Agenda will want to speak to Windsorites to find out what we think of the manufacturing crisis. If we're going out into communities like Windsor, um, and we'll be in other communities around the province over the next six months or so, while we're there, it's the best time to really reach out to the, the people who live there and find out from them. What are the issues? Um, what, do, what do they think? You know, what kind of um, ideas or solutions or just even conversations do they want to have about their local economies? This is the first of many on-the-road broadcasts. One of the coolest aspects is the concept of an agenda camp. This is where producers and crew showed up a day early to talk to manufacturing workers, concerned citizens, experts, and students about manufacturing. To provide a way for people to be able to follow what's going on here, even if they're not here today. We have um, our, our live stream, we have people shooting on little flip cams, and we also have two crews walking around, so there's a lot of media happening. So at, this, uh, at our webpage, at tbo.org slash agenda camp, um, you can watch the proceedings. People are blogging, uh, Mike Miner, one of our producers, and even Steve Pakin are coming in here uh, pretty frequently and blogging. Uh, people are Twittering also, so we have a Twitter feed going. Um, anybody who Twitters uh, Agenda Camp, uh, gets, uh, it'll get into our Twitter feed. And uh, Rick is uploading all of the stuff that people are shooting on our little flip cameras up to YouTube. And we have a YouTube channel on the page as well. So, you know, this is a great um, event and I think most um, uh, valuable for the people who can attend and be on site, but you can also, in effect, you can attend even if you're not here. Windsor's problems go way beyond the manufacturing sector, and people from all backgrounds showed up searching for a solution. One graduate art student wondered why he should stay in Windsor after he graduates. I really want to try and figure out, like, what reason do I have to stay here? Because, like, I've grown up here, my family's here, but I mean, I could probably go to London or Toronto or Montreal and have a lot more opportunities in terms of having a place to work and, and make my own artwork after, right? To me, the city is like a prime ground for creating um, uh, economy around uh, culture and around like sustainability. I mean there's no reason that we couldn't be like the capital of sustainable, green, creative uh, industry. Some of the footage was even used for the live broadcast the next day. It accounts for 15 percent of Ontario's jobs and 20 percent of the provincial economy and an even larger share of our all-important exports to the United States. But despite those impressive numbers, Ontario's manufacturing base is struggling. Over the past four years, more than 200,000 manufacturing jobs have disappeared, and many fear more cuts are to come. Will these jobs come back? Will they be replaced? And if so, with what? Ontario's manufacturing economy. It's part one of the Agenda on the Road tonight, live from Windsor, Ontario. In all, it was a great chance for Windsor to speak out and very moving to hear how the everyday person is affected. And speaking of moving, I don't know about you, but I'm out of here once I graduate. We'll share a cab. Sounds good. See ya. Peace.